What's up guys? Today we're going to answer the question, is Submit Hub worth it? My name is Kev Rowe. I'm a playlist curator on Submit Hub and I've listened to over 15,000 songs. I have a playlist network on Spotify that has over 17,000 listeners of those playlists and I'm very active on both of these platforms, Submit Hub and Spotify. So today we're going to answer the easiest question that ever has come into the universe and it is, is Submit Hub worth it? Absolutely 100% yes, it's worth every dime and undervalued like by so much in my opinion. And I'm going to give you three reasons why I really believe that Submit Hub is worth it. The first one is value. I mean, come on, all you have to do is pay a dollar and you have access to all these resources. I mean, first of all, hats off to Jason and Dylan and the whole team at Submit Hub for creating such an incredible platform. I mean, come on, this is, this is, this is a dream. This is like, all of a sudden, as an independent artist, you have access to so much experience, so much value. Let's talk about the price, a dollar. Like, okay, of course. It, if you have a new release, one a new song release, and you go on to Submit Hub, you're going to spend, I don't know, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, something like that, submitting to a bunch of playlist curators that you've done the research on, know are in your genre, and have a pretty good chance of forwarding your song to their playlists. And that will really, really help your release by having your song on those playlists. But the price, I mean, so it's it's a dollar for the lowest tier, for like the if your ranking is a one as a playlist curator, there's, there's four, um, there's four credit costs that you can pay. It's uh, four credits for really high quality playlist curators, three credits for really, they're all high quality curators. It just depends on how much they cost and how much the curator um, chooses to charge you based on a lot of different factors. That's a whole different video. But me as a playlist cur curator, I can charge four credits, three credits, two credits, or one credit. Now, it's a 50-50 split. So Submit Hub gets half of the money and I get half of the money every time that you you submit your song. So if if at that certain time I'm charging one credit, then I get 50 cents and Submit Hub gets 50 cents, but it's only $1. Now, if I'm charging four credits, then that will cost you $2 to me and $2 to the Submit Hub. That's $4. But between one and $4, you can get access to submitting to curators. And that is just like an incredible value. I mean, where else, when in history could you submit your music to someone who has a lot of experience in the recording business and get constructive criticism back to you guaranteed for a dollar? Not only that, but it's guaranteed that I listen to your song for 60 seconds not only that, in order for me to get more, charge more than one credit, I have to listen for 90 seconds. So on average right now, I listen like 110 seconds, which is a little under two minutes, right? Um, and currently, I'm charging three credits to, to submit your music to me. But sometimes that changes. I started off at one credit for six months. I just wanted to get to know people. So I was only charging one credit. Now I know a lot more people and I'm spending a lot more time on this and I'm putting a lot more of my money that I earn from this back into growing the playlists. 
Again, a whole other video on the, re the investment in playlists. And also I want to do a video on how I became a playlist curator, so stay tuned for those. Hey, subscribe to my channel here. I never make that request and I should more often, so please do that. Yeah, a dollar, come on. So let, let's say you, you get into your, your release and you spend 50 bucks to 100 bucks. You're gonna get a ton of impartial feedback from that which brings me to number two reason number two why submit hub is such so worth it in every way it's impartial feedback like you're going to get all this feedback from people who listen to great music all day long for a dollar or four dollars or whatever and that impartial feedback most importantly can help you grow as a musician now, you might come to me and say, Kev, I can get impartial feedback on Instagram or on Facebook or from my friends and family. No way. That's not even close to impartial feedback. Like your friends and family just want to point out the good things about you and say, yes, Jimmy, you're doing a great job. I really like that one song of yours about so-and-so. And they're going to give you compliments. That's not even close to impartial feedback. When I listen to your music on Submit, Submit Hub, I'm listening to the production quality, the lyrics, the instruments, the rhythms, is everything in tempo? There's so much more going on here than just that's a good song, I think you should try to get it out into the world, is what your family and friends are gonna tell you. That's not good feedback. That's basically false praise, and that's true for social media too. Like, you've developed a social media following at this point, probably, and you have some Instagram followers. How many of them are going to tell you that your intro was too long? Nobody. First of all, they're not going to listen to your song. <laughs> You're going to promote it on and send them over to Spotify, and there's no way for them to give you constructive feedback. You need to hear what's wrong with your recordings. So I've broken this impartial feedback into two sections, and it's rejection. The first thing is rejection, and you need to learn in the music business how to get rejection and like just be able to deal with it and not even care, and in fact, just laugh at it and keep going. That's what I do when I get bad reviews back from, from playlist curators. I just laugh, they're hilarious. Like. I take them seriously, don't get me wrong. I mean, I've got lots of notepads of, of constructive criticism and they have definitely helped me edit my songs so that they're digestible for playlists and Spotify. So this rejection thing, I mean, it's the music business. It's a cold hearted place, <laughs> except for me, I love you. Um, yeah, no, I mean, it's tough out here, you know? And if, if you think, that you're gonna avoid rejection by not doing live gigs and just being a professional studio musician or social media musician online, that is completely wrong. There is rejection everywhere in the music business and you gotta grow thick skin. So yeah, it's important. The second factor of this immediate impartial feedback is validation. So that's the thing, that that's the flip side, that's the positive side of this whole Submit Hub universe. You're going to get validation from qualified ears, people who have listened to tons of music, and they're going to pick you out and say, absolutely, this is your best work. And that validation goes a long, long way. You can ride the wave of little bits of success in the music business for a long time. Like, it gets you going, and it's all about momentum. You really need a lot of momentum in the music business to keep at it, you know? So you're gonna get some wins here on Submit Hub and cherish them, you know? So I've always thought that the platform and playlist curation is not really about streams. Sure, streams are a byproduct of it, but the whole Submit Hub thing is about validation. 
It's about artists getting recognized by people within the industry and getting constructive free criticism, but also getting praise and getting pushed forward because you're not going to get pushed forward on social media. Like the streams that you get or the the praise about your song is just not the same. They're different environments. So, number three for reason for why Submit Hub is so worth it in every way is the community. Like, the people on this community, we're all diehard music people. Diehard. You're not going to find anyone more enthusiastic about uh, music, the creation of music, the writing, the recording, the distribution. I mean, it's all happening right here. Is it happening elsewhere? Absolutely. There are other communities, Nashville, LA. Um, there are other playlist platforms, playlist push, sound campaign. There are, there are a couple others. And I'll talk about the differences between those and Submit Hub. In my personal opinion, Submit Hub has the best community because the most artists are using it. They charge the least, back to number one. And it's just the premium software product, a website product for musicians to, to submit to playlist curators. Um, so that community is super important. And when I make friends here, they show up on Instagram and some on Facebook and on Spotify. So it's, it's a great place to meet new people. And you're going to meet all these incredible playlist curators and they're going to help you in your career. Like years from now, if I see you somewhere, we can talk about how your career is going because I'll know you from Submit Hub. So this community aspect is so, so vital. Um, do I think Submit Hub is worth it? Absolutely. I think they should double their prices. I think they should triple their prices, quadruple their prices. Like... I mean, I'm not just saying that because obviously I would make more money from it. I'm also an artist and I submit my songs to other playlist curators. So I would not mind paying more to get to people who have influence in my genre. That's that's the bottom line. Um, yeah, so let's review the three things. These are the reasons why Submit Hub is so worth it for you and where you should spend your time and money. The price, so the value, the impartial feedback, which breaks down into both rejection and validation, and the community aspects. So yeah, man, no brainer, worth it in every single way. Um, if you're enjoying these Submit Hub videos, please subscribe to my channel. It gives me momentum to keep making more videos and I can't wait to see you in the next video. I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you, Jason.